Hi, how are you guys doing? And welcome back to Trailers of Cold Steel with me, your girl, No Fuses. Uh, last time we went to the Grim, we met some of these new characters, and we're probably going to meet some more in, in this video. So, without further ado, let's get started. And if you guys like this video or this series, then please don't hesitate to destroy that like and subscribe button for more videos. Cross inside a circle. Any idea what it means? No one really knows for sure. There are a number of theories, though. Unfortunately, mm. the meanings of most animus symbols have been lost over time. Interesting. There sure are more remnants of animus in here than I expected. There's actually a spirit monument much like this one out on the highway too. One theory is that they exist as signposts to guide the spirits to this land. Because of that, people have regarded them as a means to call forth spirits since the days of inquietity. Oh, fascinating. I can only imagine what it would look like if they were to succeed. Well, it's just a theory. No one really knows what the real purpose is. But they're still pretty important then. And here I'm thinking it would be fun to have them smash them up. God! Dang, you want you gonna go and smash up a historical monument like that? I'd really appreciate it if you didn't. Such disturbing impulses. Wait, is that another statue? Can can I react to that too? Nope. Can I go inside now? Thank you. Oh, the guild and the one. I must not have noticed it earlier with all the mist. Strange. The branches in the capital were closed due to political pressure, but this one seems to be active. The Legram branch continues to operate as it always has. That's why I would rather I was rather surprised to find out that the capital's branches were no longer active. Come to think of it, we made a bracer back when we were in Barnhar for our field study, but I saw no signs of a guild branch there either. It was closed a year ago, though I understand that the pressure that so clothes came from the Duke's household, not the Imperial government. Is that so? Well, bracers are an eyesore to most of the well-to-do types. They don't bow to authority. You can't bribe them with Mira. They're all about protective civilians. Give them any excuse to lean on the bracers to get out them out of picture, and that's exactly what they're gonna do. Ma'am, ma that's kind of... Hmm. You don't mince words, do you? Hmm. Choice words coming from an intelligence division operative. Do you think you're not complacent in this? Well, it's less us and more Gramps. You went barging into branches in the capital himself and started telling them what they could and couldn't do. Wow. That explains the instructor's frosty temperament toward him. Man, you girls sure know how to poke a guy where it hurts, don't you? Oh. Now there's a familiar face. I'm pleased to, to see you again, Tobble. Oh, you know each other? No, nah, we just ran into each other once a couple months ago. Long time no see, Laura. Sounds like Sarah's keeping your nose in the grindstone, huh? Wait, so... You must be the former associate of her instructor, I take it. Pretty much. Brace her, Toffel. I'm Toffel Rendir. A bracer with the guild here in the Empire. Good to meet you, ladies and gents of Class 7. Wait a minute, so it wasn't a coincidence that we ran to in Barhart? Bingo! Sarah told me you were going to be there. 
She wanted me to keep an eye out for you and step in if you're going to a real tight spot. But she insisted I play it casual and not give myself away. Man, that part was a lot harder than I thought it'd be. I had no idea. Thank you so much for all your assistance back then. Yeah, we wouldn't have been able to bust Makia's out without your help. You may not have directly assisted me, but I suppose you have my thanks nonetheless. <laughs> You're welcome. Sarah's repaid the debt in full though, so don't worry about it. Interesting. I had no idea that you already met some of the members of our class. Incidentally, Tavel, the guild standing here in Erebonia certainly seems to have shifted over the past two years. <laughs> no doubt. Basically, every branch in the Empire was shut down after the government started putting pressure on us. Some of us found work in different fields, like Sarah. Others transferred to branches outside the country. But we all agreed to get back together if we ever resume our presence in Erebonia again. Until then, we're just trying to keep a low profile, scraping out a living for ourselves. It sounds like a difficult life. Still, with the guild having to decrease its presence, isn't there more than enough work for the remaining branches? I wish. The railway and military police deals with a lot of stuff we would have handled before. Your little lady, lady's friend in particular keeps herself pretty busy. Oh, you mean Claire? Yep, she sure is a hard worker. Although, with all the time she spends on work, it's no wonder she doesn't have a boyfriend. Um, William? I'm not sure you should go around sharing details of people's personal lives without their consent. <laughs> well, I find enough work to keep the lights on here anyway, and this branch has the physical appro approval, so we can display our sign without getting in trouble. So that's how it is. Well, it's nice to hear that the Viscount seems pretty supportive of the guild. <laughs> he seems to find much of himself in the British's way of life. Self-reliance, pride, a focus on helping others. He's long said that if he were free of other responsibilities, he would join the guild and work as a British himself. Oh my, that seems very... I hardly think a man who owns territory in the Empire could just go up and join the Bracers. The Ray and Blade Master himself is a Bracer, huh? In terms of strength and standing, he's probably on par with Cassius Bright. I'll bet he'd make Esprit right on the spot. You know Cassius Bright? I believe he's currently a Brigadier General in the Liberian Army, as well as a bearer of the title Divine Blade. I guess I should expect no less from the member of the Intelligence Division. Anyway, that's how the visit ended up asking me to sort out some tasks for your field study. Let me give this to you now. Alright, what do we got? You guys can go ahead and like pause the video if you guys want to read this. I think I know the gist of what I need to do. Study areas defined as 20 cells raised around the glam. Each student must record his or her activities daily to be remitted to the instructor upon request. Oh, so this is how your field studies go. Generally, yeah. Should we come back tomorrow to pick up the next set of our tasks? Yeah, I've got some work I can use your help with. I'm pretty sure I handed here, so we've got a, got a real monster of a bat log building up. I'm counting on you to pave the way to easy, bleh, easy for us. Oh my god, I am tongue tying my words right now. Ugh. Uh -huh, we'll do. Alright then, let's waste no time getting started. Hmm, looks like one of those requests is from the training hall. It seems to be from Klaus. Got a monster extermination request too. We'll have to head out onto the highway for that one. It would be nice if we could cover as many of the town's requests as possible, too. This is so cool! Yeah, if you guys haven't noticed, I've changed up their outfits, and, uh... I hope you guys are enjoying them. Hold on. Uh, what do we go to first? He said, go to Watu store. Oh, the store was there the whole time. Welcome, everyone. I hope the day is treating you well. If you need any armaments or have any ornament related questions during your stay, then just come straight to me. Thank you, Duncan. Your service is invaluable as always. Aha, it's an honor to hear you say that. That reminds me, I've heard that you guys will be the ones taking the quest I sent in for the Tavo. That's right. You want us to do something with the Roadlands, right? Can we ask you for some further information about how to do that? Of course. It could take quite a while, though. Are you sure you have time to do it? 
Yeah, that shouldn't be an issue. You should explain what it is you'd like us to do and we'll get it done. Alright, here's how it'll go. I'm going to presume you all know what the rope lamp is at this point. You probably also know that they require regular maintenance in order to function as they should. That's especially true here in the Grimm, since the moisture from the fog causes their circuits to short more frequently. I had put in a request for Tava to inspect them not too long ago, actually. To my surprise, he discovered that almost all the lamps close to town are in need of some maintenance work. I assume you want to replace them in all in one go, then? That's correct. To be a bit more specific, I'd like you to replace their orbit lights. That does seem like a long, troublesome task. The kind I'd normally pay someone else to do. The road lamps serve as a safety measure for travels along the highway, though, so this is important. Sounds about as much fun as picking light out of my belly button, but oh well. Nothing we can do about it. This does seem like something Tava would usually handle himself, though. Isn't that right? It is. He'd probably laugh at us if a group of project students weren't able to change a few lights out, but... It really takes me back to our field's first time in Celtic, though. Yeah, because they had to do something, like, similar. They had to, like, go and find a light or a mill or something like that. And basically fix something up. So, yeah, this is, like, similar. It's just probably gonna be harder. There's probably gonna be like more powerful monsters like surrounding where we need to be at, most likely. So you're practicing pros already then? Hardly. I finally managed to block off any memories of our of our group's first field study. <laughs> oh, no fair you guys. I remember stuff I wasn't here for. <laughs> That's what you get for showing up late to the party. Anyway, I assume the row lamps here also need a code to open their maintenance panels? Not quite. The lamps here on the ground will use a key for access instead, which means you'll be needing this. Well, at least it should make things simpler. Yeah, yeah I'm kind of glad I don't need to remember code this time. And here's a replacement ornament lights you'll need as well. That's a lot of lights! A0 to A5... B01 to B09, they're all marked with letters and numbers. That they are, but each one matches up with the road lamp it should be used in. You use the A01 lamp with the A01 written on it, and so on. It's not exactly advanced calculus. So do you need any pointers on how to change them out? No, I remember how to do it from last time, so I think we'll be fine. Well, that seems to be everything we need to know to get started. We'll be on our way then. Good luck. But before we go and do that mission, I want to go to the school right quick. I'm pretty sure there's a mission over there, too. This is the school. I've been eagerly awaiting your arrival. I see you were able to begin your field study without incident. We were. Thank you for your help. Incidentally, I noticed that it was you yourself who placed this request for us. Indeed, I did. I hope it wasn't too sense of me. My request is merely this. I would like you to engage in a training bound with the students of Arson School. That's what it says in request, request, request description. I'm game. It's not often to get a training opportunity like this. But you guys... But are you sure we provide enough of a challenge? Oh, I'm certain of it. By my assessment, you're all more than capable of combatants. A source woman of the famed Eight Leaves One Blade School, and an, an, an adept in court fencing, and even a seasoned spearman. You each seem to handle your weapons with the poise only born of many battles, the young lady included. You can tell that just from looking at us, but you've never seen us fight. Be that as it may, he seems to have a pretty good idea of what we can do. It's like you can tell that Lemmy's here. Well, I've mentioned all of you before in my letters home, though I expect Claus could easily have to do that much nonetheless. He makes a strong case for his position as acting master of arts in school at the very least. Uh -huh, I'm flattered. All those training here right now are at the beginner level. I believe you'd be a appropriate match for each other in terms of skill. It sounds like, it sounds like the kind of hands-on lesson even Thor's education can't buy. Very well, we'd be happy to accept. You have my thanks. If it was alright with you, let's begin right away. Let me know when you're ready. We're all ready. Just give the word. Aha, uh -huh, excellent. Then please take your place in the stage in the center of the hall. Is it like an automatic thing? Listen up. Our opponents are Lady Laura's classmates. They may be young, but don't underestimate them. I know, I know. I'm not playing to lie down for these guys. 
I'm not playing and losing either. Aw, oh, not fair. Why can't I join in? <laughs> it would hardly be a fair fight if you summoned your doll to battle. As a student of this school, I also have to resist the urge to join in. I think Spectre can teach us much, though. Lame! So those are our opponents from the Arson School. Claus said that they're all at the beginning level, but in this school, I'm betting even beginners are pretty skilled. Indeed, it would be unwise to underestimate their ability. We're gonna to need to get this, get this all we've got for us and for them. We can do this. We have a very on our side. Is everyone ready? Then begin. Do I fight or they do they fight? Thus, our training bout with the students of the Arson School started with a bang. They were as skilled as we suspected, and we were forced to play to our strengths, relying on the team's tactics we honed by fighting together. Finally, after a long and hard-fought battle, we emerged victorious, of course. The battle has been decided. We did it! Phew! Barely scraped out a victory there. Aw oh, man, we lost. How shameful. Seems like we still have a long way to go after all. Yeah, we're gonna have to turn our training up a few notches. Thanks for coming on and giving us a good fight. The battle made for some excellent training. Huh, you can say that again. I know I learned where I can stand to brush up. Your skill in battle is was befitting of the reputation of the art the school. He's right, you all fought wonderfully. It was an excellent battle. I see you've been diligent in your training while I've been away. Boo! What now, Million? I wanna fight too! Oh my. Million, don't do it! Whoa. What the hell is that? A silver doll? Million! Honestly, are you incapable of seeing crying for just five minutes? But just sitting here watching guys fight is so boring. I'm ready to jump in. Come on. You don't just want to sit in the silence either, right, Laura? Well, I don't suppose I can deny that. You too, huh? Hmm, this does present a bit of a problem. I think having Arden Gannel take the field might give us too much of an unfair advantage. Oh, uh -huh. well, if that's the case, allow me to serve your opponent instead. Huh? Master Claus? I may not be as young as I once was, but I'm still the acting master of the character of this school. For his leadership in his absence, I believe you'll find me a worthy opponent, even for that silver puppet. Woo! Wow. The stance leaves almost no openings. I can see that acting master isn't simply an RA title. I see, but if Klaus is going to join the battle, I would like to as well. Laura? Lady Laura? I've been defeated by Klaus on more on one more occasion that I like to count. I enjoy the opportunity to show him how much I've improved. Aha, as you wish then. Show me all that you've learned during your time at the academy. Ooh, this is getting exciting. Well, this seems to have ended rather quickly. I suppose not everyone has the patience to sit on the sidelines, especially when they're itching for a good fight. Good grief, what do you think we have to do? I don't think there's anything we can do. Master Reen, I would greatly enjoy the chance to cross the lanes with the school swordsman of the Eight Leaves One Blade School. Would you be willing to participate as well? Of course, I'll be glad to accept. Good, good. How about you choose one more of your classes to round out your team? You'll all be facing me. If you're able to defeat me, you, you, you will have completed my request. <laughs> In that case. Oh, jeez. Look, if this man is conf confident enough to go against... What is it? Four? Four, at, four of us out of the entire group? He's pretty strong. And he says we have to be him to complete this request so we have Laura we have Milliam we have rain I'm gonna need my healer Emma let's bring him out how about it, Emma I'll be happy to then let us begin but please don't hold back on my account of my age I doubt you'll even give us the opportunity to do so no doubt, I feel his power already. He hasn't even made a move yet. We're going to need to come at him with everything we've got, even more than the last fight. <laughs> I wasn't planning on holding back anyway. All right then, begin. Ah, oh, jeez. Come, show me what you can do. Oh, uh, we go. got the boss music. All right, let's do this. Leave it to me. Yes, sir. Oh, that barely left a dent. Of course. Behold, my most powerful striker. 
to see how much damage this does. Okay, that it's left quite a bit out. Yeah, she still hasn't learned her S craft yet. Gleaming blades. Go. Oh no, you don't. Oh my God, took so much health. Okay, he's like this halfway now. Still knows a few tricks. <laughs> My turn. Uh. God dang. Yeah. It's all equal, okay, so that's not gonna matter. Resisted against that. My turn. There. You missed? How can you miss? You missed? 
How do you miss? No. My turn. Argus, activate. Ha. You have my face. My turn. I'll say you better not miss twice. I can't risk it because if he gets hit, then she might be done. Oh, dang it. Good thing, too. How did you miss? There. There. God dang. Finally got his back. Lemmy, barrier. Thanks. Okay. Hear me. <laughs> Thanks. Of course. No. There we go. God dang. Aw, oh, you still got it? Well, they both got their things back, so... I swear, if she does all this and it says Nist, I'm gonna be so upset.
My turn. Flames, gamble on my plate. Good thing I put up that barrier. Thanks. Here we go. So all you can do is attack. That's a chance. An opening. We're yeah. so close. Oh my god. Okay, so she can't do any more of her stuff anymore. There we go, come on. Understood. So physical direct attacks is what gets him the most. But if I use anything special, it's kind of like a 50-50 chance he'll actually hit. I'm going to move her out the way. I can't let you get rid of my reviver person. Like, that's the one person I can't afford to lose. Because if she goes out, she'll be hard to revive anybody. No, I'm not even gonna do it. Just straight up. And you miss. You miss. Activate. 
activate. My turn. My turn. There. You missed. There. Yeah. Stand down. Uh -huh. I'm about to say, didn't miss, I'm gonna be so upset. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Oh, he didn't die. Oh, thank you. Thank you for not dying. Thank you for hanging out strong. Let, let this take you out. Please let it take you out. Yes. E ah. Okay, it's safe for now. Woo! That took a minute. That took a very hot minute to do, but we did it without losing anybody, without dying. This is why you always need a healer in your team for situations like this. Because if even one character went down for more than like one or two moves, this fight would have been real tight. Mirage reached level 3. Oh, killing enemies restores EP. Nice. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah, let like everybody level up. Stand victorious! Wow. Did they seriously defeat Master Claus? Haha, <laughs> I should have expected no less. It's been quite some time since I was last bested in combat. He doesn't even seem all that tired. I guess that's the acting master of Astro School for you. Oh, oh, gracious me, what a thrilling battle. And you silver puppet was more challenging and opponent than I anticipated, young lady. Well, there aren't many people out there who can handle him as swings as well as you did. And the rain planet is supposed to be on a whole different level. It sure is a big world out there. Well, that's true enough. Incidentally, Master Rain. Yes? It was an honor to see skills of petitioner of the eight leaves one blade style firsthand. However, I couldn't help but sense you holding something back. A wavering of your clear intent. If just for a moment. Holding something back? I... I she's like, I thought so. I apologize for saying something impertinent. You didn't pay any mind to the realms of a foolish old man. No, I appreciate you saying so. I'll take it to heart. Huh? I don't get it. But anyway, I guess that means that you've got the request I brought up, right? Certainly. There's... Thanks to your assistance, this is the most fulfilling training session for everyone. Just being able to watch this amazing fight got me all fired up. We're immensely grateful for you for all you've done for us. Not at all, it was an honor. When we meet again, I enjoy the opportunity to have a training bout with you all myself. It will be our pleasure. We'll be sure to train to the fullest extent of our abilities in the meantime. You won't be disappointed. Haha, it's only been a few short months, but you grow but your growth has been considerable. I'm certain you have fellow classmates at the academy to thank for that. When I see how well you fight together, I'm filled with the deepest of admiration. <laughs> I agree. I think you're the reason I've been able to grow like I have. Even taking on this request has helped teach and strengthen me as well. Laura. Oh, the day will eventually come when you'll be able to best me in single combat sooner than you think at that. You'll be sure I'll continue devoting myself to my training, pursuing that goal. I'm very much looking forward to it. I wish you all the best with your field stay here in the ground. May it be a rewarding, fulfilling experience. As Bella of Asher household, I'll be praying for your success. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Laura was like, I thought so. She's like, so it wasn't my imagination. You're like, you are holding back. He's like, yeah, because when he uses all his strength, he goes into ogre mode. And nobody can beat him in ogre mode. Nobody. 
So, and I, I don't think he likes going into that mode. Like, that's like last resort for him. So that's why he's like holding back all the time. Laura's s curve ring dance was strained to become radiant waltz. Oh, you wait, you can upgrade your uh, s craft So it's not just one move, you can just, it can evolve? Hell yeah. I did not know that that was a thing in here. Now I gotta upgrade everybody's s crafts. But yeah, we we need we need to go to the end because of that. Like, he, whoo, he was kicking her ass for the longest time. Okay, it's right here by the station. Look at the fogs. Just a stick on the highway as it is in town. It does go a long way toward keeping temperature down, but it certainly doesn't help with visibility. True, even we locals lose our sense of direction on the highway sometimes. But ever since they built the railway through here, there haven't been nearly as many people traveling this road. Well, we'll need to get paid extra attention to our surroundings to make sure we don't become lost. That would be wise, and don't forget, there's no telling when some beast may try and jump us out here. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Oh, is this the first lamp? Yep. The room appears to have dimmed significantly. On the plate that says A01 can be read. Change light. Yep. Alright, that's one light shade doesn't seem so bad. I don't suppose so. We just need to repeat this on the other 13 lamps on the highway. Hmm. The work itself seems simple, at least. Perhaps we should each take turns doing it then. That sounds fair. It's only right to share the workload. Yay! I call the next one. Uh huh. You're welcome to it. Wait. Uh, I thought the treasure is just a. It's just a jellyfish. Feels almost magical. I know. Like if you just wait long enough, you might see a fairy or something. Nope, don't do it. We just just wait for later. Oh, that is a big gorilla. All right, guys. Well, I think I've fixed all of the lamps that I could find. Hopefully, but I'll check again as I'm walking back. But before I do that, let's go and kick this uh, Crocodark's ass, the monster of the way, which is right over here. Yup, there he is. He looks like between a crocodile and a shark. Let's see what he can do. Hopefully it's not that tough, but I guess we'll see. That must be the monster we sent to defeat. It looks like it matches the description, but it's hard to tell with all the mist. Ooh, it looks really strong. But we've got lemon on our side, so this should be a piece of cake. I'm gonna be so sure. Visibility is quite poor here. We can't take anything for granted. I agree. We should be thoroughly prepared for we engage it. Right. <laughs> My can I just slice you into the feet? It would've been funny oh, if I could. Oh, there's two? All right. 
Let's do this! Understood! Yes, sir! With pleasure. Let me your strength! I'll show you how it's done. Leave it to me. Marcus, back to me. Okay, that battle was just a little tough, just a little bit, just a little bit tough. And the only reason it was tough is because once that one, one bite from either one of those mutated crocodiles was like half of my HP. So if if I got two bites on one character, they instantly go down. So that's the only reason it was high. If there was just one of them, it would have been cake. But they made it harder by putting two in there. So that's why I say it was a little hard. It wasn't hard though, I was like, oh my god, pull out my hair and all the good stuff, but nah. I did it! Yes, level I've up. Only just oh, you awesome. level up. That should suffice. Noble command can now be used. Support area extra large. That raise the morale of allies with ins with inspiring shouts. So it raises basically all the stats. All right. So it's like rings motivate. Well, that well that takes care of that. <laughs> Not bad for your first monster extermination. Haha. Uh -huh. I guess we shouldn't have expected any less. The tough part was actually getting to to the monster this time though. True, this mist doesn't make for the smooth of navigation. If the air were a bit clearer today, we might have been able to explore a few other routes of the, of the, uh, throughout the area. But for now, we must return to the ground to give a report. Yeah, let's head back to town. And back to town we go. Again, I'm going to check the lamps to make sure I got them all.
Okay, so I did miss one. I was wondering because I was waiting for like this type of event to happen. That's why I was kind of skeptical. Um, so yeah, now we've changed all the lights. I'm very, I am very glad that I went to check back to make sure. Because I was pretty sure an event was supposed to happen, but nothing happened. That's the last of them. 14 lamps. There's a good day's work. The highway should be better lit now, though it's difficult to tell with all these f all this fog. At least the residents of the Graham should be safer as they travel the highway now. Now that we've finished up, we should report back to our client. Yeah, let's go back and see Duncan. almost evening already the sunset sky makes for a very precious view don't you think it seems that the mist has cleared somewhat too I would venture a guess that tomorrow will be clear sunny day anyway we finished out all the main tasks we had for the day so we should probably head back to the guild now I'm sure Todd was curious about how we fared there sounds like a plan to me wish I could like jump ledges and stuff Wait, the fairy's here now? Thank you very much for your help. A well-lit highway is always a boon to travelers. You needn't thank us, we were glad to offer our assistance. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm glad we were able to shed a little light on things. People will be better off for it. That's what matters to me. Oh yeah, I should return these. Many thanks. Well then, a good effort deserves a good reward in kind. Ooh, Crystal Flood. Thank you very much. You know, this has kind of been bugging me a whole time, but is it a little weird that so many went out all at the same time? Does that happen a lot? Actually, no. It's rather impressive coincidence now that you mention it. Especially considering each lady was last replaced at a different time. You said Tal was the one who normally hands replacing them, right? I wonder if he accidentally did something to cause this then. Perhaps he wants to experience realities of the bracer lifestyle. But that's really stretching it. Indeed, I'm certain a man like him would never do something so pointless. He's like, hmm. Considering how kind he already proved himself to be back in Barhan, it's not impossible. We're probably just overthink overthinking things though. At least I hope we are. He's like, strange that so many went out at the same time. It's not that fairy, but I think the story would progress if I did that. We're back. Today was so much fun! Oh, so you don't have a voice. Uh, seems my timing could hardly have been better. I'm gonna take a guess that voice belongs to Laurel's father? Maybe? Possibly. Huh? <gasps> yes, it is. Father? See, I knew it. When did you get back? When only Klaus came to greet us, I assumed I wouldn't be seeing you while I was in the Graham. <laughs> Fortunately, I was able to take some time away from my engagements to see you and your class. And while I was in town, I also had some business to attend to with the guild, which is what brings me here. It does my heart good to see you again, Laura. It seems you've grown since I last saw you. F father please don't treat me like a child. But it's good to be back. It's good to have you back. So that's the Radiant Blade Master. Flores, that seems so cool! <laughs> she sounds embarrassed, but I've really seen her so happy. Ah, these must be your friends. <laughs> She's like, why did you embarrass me like this? Right. These are my classmates from Class 7 and my partners in this field study. Victor S. Arsend. Then let me welcome you to Legram. 
I'm Viscount Arsaid, the ruling lord here. My daughter has told me all about you in her letters. So it's a pleasure to finally be able to put faces to the names. After Irene and the others returned to the Viscount's mansion, but before they left, they reported their successful monster extermination excursion to Tavo. Yes, thank you. I need all that. there's nothing but biscuits and potatoes on these plates and maybe slices of banana like what what kind of meal is this oh and some ham okay ham and a soup mm, this is delicious oh careful William you're going to drip salsa over the table wow this is a really grim cuisine I think I like everything on the table you can say that again this fatty me has been thinking past seconds and all the way to thirds Haha, <laughs> the roast wild boar. It's been a staple in many local dishes for generations. Is something troubling you, son, the house of Al Alibera? Oh, I don't, I, don't, I don't think I said that right. Albra, I think is what it is. You seem to have brought your words to the table tonight, but not your appetite. Well, it's just that I know my family has been causing you a lot of trouble. Useless. Is he? <laughs> oh, that's just minor disagreements. You probably know it all too well. Conflicts over taxes among the nobility are as sure as the rising of the sun. It's nothing to be so concerned about. Thank you for your kind words. But come, tell me of your day. I hear you fall close this afternoon and emerged victor victorious at that. We did, though I do feel like he was holding back against us. Uh -huh, nonetheless, my nonsense, my lady. You and your classes fought with the borders of young lions. I look forward to seeing you soar to even greater heights. Ah, marvelous. I did have my hopes that you might choose to attend that girls' school in the capital, but you seem to have made some excellent friends at Thor, so perhaps this is how things were meant to be. I feel the same. Lara! Hmm? Rain, was it? I'm curious. I can sense fear in your swordsmanship. A certain hesitation. What? Father? The sword hermit, Yun Cafe. In addition to being your master and founder of the Eight Leaves One Blade School, he's also a personal acquaintance of mine. In fact, I've requested a duel with him on numerous occasions. I see. If you'll forgive me for asking, who is the victor? Haha, <laughs> the victor has yet to be decided. Pitting our respective philosophies against one another is such an engaging experience, we always lose track of time. To think there's a swordsman out there capable of fighting on equal terms with you. The world truly is a vast place. I can hardly imagine what a duel like that would be like. Haha, <laughs> but getting back to what I was saying, the Eight Leaves One Blade School draws its influence from the elephants of several other ancient schools of swordsmanship. The style's philosophy has such depth, it's not difficult to see why one's master is known as the Divine Blade. But there's something about you, Rain, something that terrifies you so much that it's a mere shadow pins you in place. He's almost certainly referring to... I have occasionally gotten that impression myself. So this is the burden being carries? Indeed, it seems like whatever happened in the old schoolhouse last month had something to do with it, but... You have me at lost. I never would imagine you'd be able to tell so much about him so easily, but thanks to that, I've made up my mind. What? Oh? My lord, I ask of you, as the Radiant Blade Master, would you grant me the honor of a duel? We about to lose so hard. Is he about to go ogre mode? Is that what's about to happen? Is he about- Is he- whoo? Is he about to let it all out? I'm really curious what's about to happen. Wow, this is mega cool! He's really gonna duel the Radiant Blade Master! But is he really strong enough to beat him? He doesn't stand a chance. Receiving instruction from him would be one thing. But to duel a master like Viscount Arsaid... Looks like the odds aren't in his favor, then. 
<laughs> she's like, I don't know. Like, she's like, I think he has something up his sleeve, which he does. Reen, please reconsider. You too, father. Stop this nonsense. Please, Laura, stay out of this. This duel is between Reen and myself. Stand aside. <sighs> Are you certain this is what you want? I am. It's an honor to have the opportunity to test my mettle against the renowned Radiant Blademaster. Thank you for accepting. I admire your spirit. Now, show me what a Swordsman of the Eight Leaves is capable of. What the? Wh <gasps> Amazing! He can wield such a massive blade so deftly with just one hand? You do know your girl Emma has a similarly sized sword, right? She's been wielding it around literally like it's like it weighs in like a feather. How are you shocked that he's got this behemoth of a sword? Where do you think she got it from? <sighs> Unbelievable! That's Galan Charles. A great sword that's been passed down in the Arsade family for generations. It was once wielded by the ancestor of our house, the second in command of the Eisenritter. I can sense incredible power within him. He may be even stronger than my master, which means that against him. Ooh! Reen Schwarzer and the Eisenritter's one blade school begin a rank. I stand ready. Vicaress Arsage, master and successor of the Arsage school. Ready. Begin! No. Oh snap, we're, we're, we're really doing this. Oh snap. I should have put up your CP and everything. Oh my god. Do I have to like actually like win-win against him? Or is this like a battle I cannot win? Like, like oh my god. I'm sorry. Well, that was quick. That was quick. That was very quick. Very quick battle. Ouch! He said, ouch! This is why I tried to stop them. I can barely even see what happened. It's not like Reen is weak. It's more that his opponent's strength is so far beyond his. What are you doing? This duel is not yet over. To your feet, at once. Father? <sighs> I know you're capable of more than this. But if you're still too afraid to assert your true strength, then I have no choice but to force your hand. Now, show me. <gasps> Disappear? No. Oh, too slow. Woo! Go read. Wow. This is. It, is this what Reen is afraid of? <sighs> Excellent. This is as it must be. This is the power that slumbers deep within you. As long as you continue to cower in the face of it, you'll remain forever at a standstill. All right, <laughs> let's see how much. He said, "Let's see your true potential." Now. Can't do anything here. Now. There. Now. Now. 
got a lot of that. Still lost, I mean, dang. makes sense now. Why Reen asked the Viscount for a duel in the first place. You fool. Are you shouldering such a burden alone all this time? Are you alright, Reen? Father, there was no need to go that f I'm fine. He held back. I admit defeat. I'm honored to have seen the Radiant Blademaster's signature technique. <laughs> I think you're finally starting to understand. What we call power is simply a measure of one's raw strength. Without knowing how to properly apply it, it has no real meaning. However, when you deny the power you already possess, you're only shortchanging yourself. You're right. I feel like I finally get what my master was trying to teach me about the laws of nature, but I'm afraid understanding that is only going to make me even more uncertain. Reen. That's nothing to be ashamed of. Stand up, dust yourself off, and step forward. Grapple with that fear each day if that's what it takes. Uncertainty weighs on the hearts of all people. But it's far preferable to standing still. I wonder if I can use his ogre power whenever I want to now. I wonder if that's going to be an option after all this is over. That would be totally cool because I can use that a lot. Ugh. Where's Emma and Laura? I was about to say, are they at the castle? The mist seems to have cleared. So, that's the Saint's castle. You can't come out right now. Someone might notice you. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's fine. Is the cat talking? The Radiant Blade Master may be scarily perceptive, but I doubt he'll notice my little moonlit stroll. Honestly. Yep, the cat is talking. Well, what do you think? I'm not sure how much we can count on the boy. It seems he's finally found what he needs to move past what's been holding him back. But I'm still not certain he's going to make it in time. Oh, that's not for us to decide. Our role is to watch over and guide him, nothing more. Oh, so they're like guardians. I don't want you to do anything like that ever again. Oh, okay. I was like, what is she talking about? I'm like following her all the way to the ground. I think she, what she's talking about is earlier, she basically coxed um, Elisa, Reen's sister, into, like, into the uh, schoolhouse. And she almost got killed. Like, and Emma was pissed off at her. Just kind of like, you almost killed his sister just so you can push him in the right direction she's like if i catch you doing that crap again your ass is mine fine fine setting that aside for now i'm sure you've already sensed it but there's definitely something inside that castle that place is out of our jurisdiction but i have a bad feeling about this one well what are they magical police like what what is this me too I suppose all we can do is point Laura toward it and hope she notices too. Whoa! 
Ah, nice clear blue sky. View. Looking at the castle is like gazing into a vast mirror. I suppose the wharf you can see in the distance must be over in the Sutherland province. You can see the Saint's castle way more clearly, too. So this is what the ground looks like on a clear day. It almost seems like we're in a different town. Haha, <laughs> well both faces of the town have a place in my heart. Hey, I'm sorry for all the fuss I caused yesterday. I mean, you really did. However, you did what you did out of necessity, correct? Yeah. Before before yesterday, I'd never been able to recognize the truth behind my master's teachings. But crossing swords with your father, it was like I finally realized what he wanted me to understand all those years. I see. In the case, I won't criticize what you did. I can understand that feeling, struggling forward even in the face of adversity. Uh huh. It seems the winds have granted you their blessing. Still, Reed, I think he owes an explanation. What was that power you displayed during the duel? I've never seen its like. Emma's like. Mm -hmm. It was so cool! Like you suddenly turned to a whole different person! Almost like some kind of power that was locked inside of you came roaring out in one big flash! Yeah, I guess that's what it must seem like. There's something, some beast-like instinct sleeping inside me, and when I completely lose control of myself, it just swallows me up, transforms me somehow. I've known about it ever since I was a kid, and all my life, I've lived in fear of it, of, of that other self. Seems like a strange burden to bear. Something beast-like. I don't know, it seems pretty cool. Besides, if it makes you even stronger, why not just be like that all the time? Haha, <laughs> I wish you were that simple. Years ago, I first asked my master to teach me the way of the sword in order to suppress that power. I thought that if I could master the art of fighting, I could master my fear and quell those instincts. But that did nothing to solve the underlying problem, and eventually, I ended up having my training discontinued. But pretty pathetic, huh? Oh, Reen. But you said that yesterday's duel helped you realize something, right? Right. I can deny it up and down, but doing that doesn't change the fact that it's in there somewhere. And unless I can accept that, I won't be able to reconcile myself with the past, or really think about my future. I mean, that sounds so simple, saying it now, but it took this long for me to realize it. Oh! Ah, I see. Hmm. Trouble seems to seek you out, doesn't it? So you intend to accept your lot and move forward even though the way, it, the way is anything but certain? Uh huh, that's actually rather inspiring. I hope you'll tell Group B what you shared with us. I think they'd be really glad to hear from you. Yeah, I think I will. I feel like everyone's been worried about what happened in the old schoolhouse last month. Heh, I heard the big news. You seriously do with Ray and Bla Blade Master? Well, he was kind enough to give me the chance to test my skill against him. The gap between him and me is so wide that calling it a duel is being generous. Nah, don't sell yourself short. It takes some real guts to even think of trying to do the Viscount. I know you battled Sarah, and her strength is pretty intense, but he's in a whole different level. I can see you didn't achieve beginner rank in the Eight Leaves One Blade School for nothing. You're surprisingly well informed. Got a surprise for you! Well, the guild has pretty close ties with the Eight Leaves One Blade School after all. Anyway, let me get you those tasks for today. Gimme, 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 gimme. Oh, this is literally two. Oh, I was expecting to be more guys. I know, right? There's only two there. I am rather curious about this monster extermination request. Didn't want to overload you since I'm planning on giving you an extra task this afternoon. It sounds like this will be your last full day in the gram, so I won't get the most out of you while I've, while I've got you here. Anyway, get out there and do what you do. Got it? No sense in waiting to get started then. Well, at least it shouldn't take long. Okay, let's roll on out. Man, I was really hoping like the game was going to like say like you can now use you can now use Ring's power whenever you wish. Press this button at this time during battle. I was really hoping the game would say that and I'd be like, yes. But I guess not. I guess we don't get that privilege. Okay, maybe we'll get it later. I don't know. Right. But I guess we'll find that out in the next video. Uh, we've gotten a lot done in this video. I'm really trying to 
cover as much as the game as possible for you guys so I can move on to the other other games in the series. Um, but I feel like we're getting very close to the end. Or, yeah, I, I really think we're, we're getting there. I think we're like, if I had to give you a percentage, I think we're about 65 to 70% through the game already. If, if, if I'm being real, so... Um, because that's what I think. Because I think something big is about to happen, which is going to be at the trade conference. So, yeah. Just wait patiently, you guys. Um, I'm going to pump out more videos of this game. They're coming. Do not worry. They're, they are a coming. So, I hope you guys enjoyed right. the video. And if you guys enjoyed the video and would like to see more videos of this game, then please don't hesitate to destroy that like and subscribe button. Bye! See you later!